Hey guys, what's up? It's Killerick99 and today I'll bring you a special video. I'll be doing the top 10 boss battles of Naruto Storm series. Um, basically, I have no specific criteria when uh, ranking these uh, boss battles, but I'm, I'll generally put them in the order that I like them the most and I think they are uh, better in general. So I only have one rule. For this uh, top 10 list, uh, the rule is that I have to include at least one boss battle from each game that has boss battles, so there's at least one from Storm 1, one from Storm 2, Storm 3 and Storm 4. So yeah, Revolution and Storm Generations don't have boss battles, so I'm not gonna include those games. So yeah, let's get right into the video. In number 10, we have uh, Gara vs Naruto from Storm 1. And to be honest, like for me, Storm 1 it was the game that had the worst boss battles. Um, to be honest, I only included this boss battle because I made that rule of at least having one boss battle from each game in. So if I didn't have that rule, I probably wouldn't even put this uh, boss battle. But to be honest, I still like uh, parts of this boss battle. In general, what I felt was lacking a lot in Storm 1 battles was just uh, the challenge. In the boss battle itself, uh, they were pretty easy and pretty stra straightforward, you know, nothing special. Uh, only the cinematics were cool, and that's a huge part of the boss battles in Naruto. So yeah, the, the part that I liked the most um, in this one was when Gamma Boons appears, and we have a little clash between Gamma Boons and Shukaku. Also, the final headbutt uh, that Naruto gave to Garo was really cool. Um, and uh, yeah, when uh, Gara, when Naruto explains what motivates him and where his power comes from, comes from his teammates and the love that he has for them, that part was also cool. Um, and yeah, that's basically it from this boss battle. So let's jump into the next one. In number nine, we have Team Seven versus Kaguya. This fight is definitely better than the last one that I showed you uh, in number ten. So this fight, uh, what makes it special is definitely being like the last boss, the last villain in our Shippuden. And also, what I love about this fight is the fact that when we are when we are flying with uh, Kakashi Suzano and like trying to beat that uh, that thing that I don't even know, like Kavi, right, with those um, bijus there. So this part really reminds me of old games like Sly Cooper One. The final boss against Clockwork. I'm gonna show you a clip so you can uh, see what I'm talking about. And also, Crash Bandicoot 2 final boss was also similar. And I mean, it really is good when uh, when you get reminded of games that you used to love and you used to play when you were younger. So yeah. Also, what other thing that I like about this fight is uh, when Sakura, Sasuke, and Naruto are like punching through Kaguya's defense, and really. It's a really cool part because you see them reunited and trying to like beat the final final boss. So what makes me not put this fight as higher as other fights are uh, in a better position is because like when you are not in cinematics or flying with Kashi, you are basically fighting or uh, in the different dimensions, but it's pretty like boring and normal. Uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna put her higher. So in number 8, we have Sakura and Shio vs Sazori, and this fight, bro, is one of my favorite fights in the anime, for sure. This is just awesome, and the boss battle in Storm 2 also is a great boss battle, bro. Like, the fact that it starts by you playing against the normal Sazori, and then it transforms into, like, his puppet version, and, like, this fight is not just, um... Just like the other ones where you're always fighting the same, like a lot of uh, boss battles you're always fighting like the, the same stuff, but this one, like Sazori has his puppets flying around and you actually need to get close to him, dodge and then uh, grab him. But the best part is the one that I'm going to show you, like this cinematics bro, where like Sazori just rushes down with his 100 puppets and then Shio summons the 10 puppets that she has, you know, and then they just battle it out. It's so cool, man. And I need to comment on this because this is hilarious, bro. You know, this one destroys pretty easily. It's pretty convincing. This one with the with the swords. Sakura also doing some work. 
And then, bro, look at this guy, bro. What an overkill, bro. He's punching so much, bro. So many punches just to kill one puppet, bro. That's such a waste, bro. But then, we have this vacuum cleaner, which is super practical, man. It destroys all Sazori's puppets. You know, this is a practical way to destroy them. Just a vacuum cleaner. But yeah, like, Sazori's puppets are so trash, bro. By the way, <laughs> I just needed to make this rent, to be honest. And then Sakura, of course. Um, she... She's just the best baseball player ever. So look at this. Look at this baseball shot. Boom. That's easy, easy for her, man. Best baseball player in Naruto, Chaipuden. In number seven, we have Naruto vs Kakuzo. And bro, this fight wasn't that cool in the anime because basically in the anime, Naruto just threw a singer at uh, Kakuzo and destroyed him. But in Storm 2, I remember. For me, it was the hardest boss battle in Storm series, by far, I think. Because I remember like having to try a lot, a lot to get to the S rank at the final and get a trophy. Because like, this was, was hard, bro. Especially the part where Kakuzo was attached to the trees. Because like, the things that he threw at us were, had a lot of tracking and it was kind of difficult with the sequence that he used to uh, do but it was super challenging and super cool also you needed to take him out of the trees to actually uh, damage him I mean you could damage him uh, without grabbing him but you should grab him to get more damage and that stuff also the cinematics where uh, Naruto does the Rasen Shuriken and then like dodges Kakuzu stuff and surf through him and then the final blow that final blow is really cool where just Kakuzu just gets stuck in the air and just falls and dies bro that, that's actually super cool and basically I put this fight um, higher um, than like the other ones that I did before because of the difficulty I remember I remember it being really challenging and that's really cool In number 6 we have Naruto, Sasuke and Sakura vs the Tentails and for this fight I'm, ex I'm specifically talking about the part where we start as Gamakishi and we need to get close to the Tentails so like we can uh, destroy it. So there's like three parts of the fight, first I think you're just fighting as Kurama uh, against the Tentails and then you're fighting against like and then you have the part that I just told you with Kamakishi and then you have like uh, the part where you're fighting against Jubito so I'm only talking about number six is only talking about the part where you are you are playing mostly with Kamakishi and what I love the most in this boss battle is basically the variety and the unique uniqueness of the different parts of the battle because we start by destroying the tent tails clones as Kamakishi with the help of Katsuyu and Aoda like Sasuke and um, Sakura summoning animals and then we slide through the tentails with Kamakishi and that part reminds me of Sly Cooper 1 as well and I'm gonna show you this clip and it looks very similar like just sliding through and that is like epic but one another epic moment another epic part is the cinematic where basically Gamakishi does that like flame pose or whatever like that looks super cool and just throws Naruto and Sasuke close to the Juvi uh, to the Tentail sorry uh, but yeah I'm gonna put it this one as number six for sure in number five we have Gara versus Daedra and I know that I'm gonna get a lot a slack a lot of comments saying what the fuck this how is this top five what the fuck this is trash but bro first of all you saw that stare down at the start bro that was epic bro just saying uh, but no, definitely, like, this one probably is the most, like, controversial, but I'll explain, like, first of all, I like the fact, I like, as I said, that stare down is just epic at the start, um, the fact that, uh, Daedra is just flying around and throwing stuff at him is also really cool, unique, um, yeah, basically, you, you'll have to try to hit him with the sand, and he's gonna be just flying around with, um, uh, his, uh, birds you know and also like other part that i really really like is the part where um 
like they are just like guards just chasing Daedra through the village and then they go up and down up and down and it just looks so cool bro and then you have parts where you just need to really like lock down on his bombs on his birds and like it's totally different from what you uh, n like normally do in a storm an art storm boss battle so I, I think it's pretty cool also this gives me a, a vibe of like a, a Jack and Dexter mi mission uh, slash Sly Cooper mission as well which is awesome and also uh, to make another point on why I think this deserves the number five spot. Also, like that part where like Dedra just drops a nuke, a huge bomb, and like Garen just lift, lifts, lifts up like all like the the sand from the village or like a huge portion is just so cool and everyone like oh my god, and then he just blocks like uh, the bomb with the sand. You know that that's so cool actually. But yeah, like, um, I think I gave a lot of uh, honest points on that, but uh, just tell me in the comment section down below if you disagree. In number 4, we have Sasuke vs Itachi. And bro, just like the last one, I think that I'm gonna get a little bit of pushback on this one as well. Uh, but if you guys know me or you watch my streams, you know that, first of all, Itachi is my favorite character. In all in the old Naruto series, um, the anime, and Sasuke vs Itachi is my favorite fight ever from the Naruto slash Naruto Shippuden series, and yeah, Sasuke vs Itachi on Storm Two is also a banger of a boss battle. Like, just like the last one, bro. I'm gonna emphasize the stare down at the start, just the that tension, bro. That start of the the boss battle is just awesome. Also, the like the boss battle itself is not like super unique in terms of fighting, but there's like some details that I want to point out, um, which include like the, a crazy shuriken fight. Basically, if you threw like the shaka shurikens at each other at the same time, you would start getting into that shuriken fight where you had to press a uh, like square or circle uh, like really fast, just like in the anime. Then you also have like in the cinematics the crazy fireball clash with I think is epic. Uh, the Kirin part is also super epic. You know, like I sound super fanboyish, bro, and super biased on this one. But and like it's uh, it's honestly true, bro. <laughs> I can't really say I'm not like everything about this. Is, I just think it's like super crazy. Also, like the length of the boss battle is. It's a uh, huge, you know, and I love that. I love long, long boss battles. Um, of course, you all know, like the part, like then you drop down, Kirin, you fight a little bit of Susano. That part isn't that that cool because, like, as I said, like in terms of like real fighting during the boss battle, it's not that big of a deal. But then, like when uh, Orochimaru comes out of Sasuke's body and fights Itachi, that part is so cool. Like, but like I. I haven't said the best part, and if I did, it, it was incorrect. But the best part, definitely, and you guys will remember this if you played Storm 2, bro. It's the part where Sasuke is so exhausted, and like Itachi is walking towards him with the Susano, and Sasuke tries to punch through the Susano, tries to do, like throw sh like kunai paper bombs and that stuff, and he can't do nothing even when you try to attack him he doesn't do anything you just need to slowly walk backwards walk backwards and like he's just scared for his life and then at the end you know bro you just see like he notices that there is a wall behind him he can't do nothing like Itachi just gets close to him and does that little poke on his forehead and dies and that part is just so so brutal bro like goddamn it deserves the fourth place and if the the next boss battles that I uh, will show weren't that crazy I would put it at first place but for now let's keep it at fourth place so yeah just tell me in the comment section down below if you think like I'm crazy for putting uh, like Gara in uh, Gara vs Daedra and, Tashi vs and Sasuke vs Itachi so high in the list in number three we have Naruto vs Sasuke Storm 4 
Um, this is the last fight of Naruto Shippuden in the anime, and this fight is so, so awesome. It deserves the third spot for sure. So, first of all, it starts kind of whack, to be honest. Um, the only part of the start that I really like is the fight, fighting on the walls. You get to fight on the walls for a little bit, just like you would in Storm 1. But yeah, it's just like a small amount of the fight, so yeah, it's not a big deal. But after they clash Rasengan's, we play in a flashback, and that's when it starts to get interesting. The first flashback that we get is from the Five Guys Summit encounter. And bro, that is cool. But then, after another Rasengan, we get to go back to the past even more, and we get to play as Part 1 Naruto and Part 1 Sasuke, both in the Nine Tails Awakening and the Curse Mark 2 Awakening in the Final Valley, which is like amazing you know you get like two flashbacks but then you get a third and the final one is like the the flashback that i wasn't expecting at all it's like the best flashback ever you get to play as childhood naruto versus childhood sasuke so basically the academy and one specific thing that i love about this is that when you try to do a jutsu with naruto childhood you basically get a, a screwed clone you you can't even like it's a, like a, a shitty clone, um, which is like, goddamn, these characters are not even playable. Like, they don't even they don't even have like uh, a a move set. It's like so, some hits. Um, it's crazy, bro. And suddenly, like both Sasuke and Naruto after that flashback, they just lose all their chakra bars or like almost they almost disappear. And that's the and this this is the part where they are so 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 tired. That they are stumbling and they barely can eat each other like i love the small detail that when naruto grabs a kunai he drops it like right after he grabs it and tries to eat sasuke because he doesn't even have enough strength to hold a kunai and i'm gonna show you um also like one of the last scenes of the cinematics which is just so beautiful and you can easily see why I would put it so high in the list because this surely is probably like one of the best if not the best moment ever in a in a storm battle uh, but even with that said I think that this the two boss battles that are still to come I think they are better than this one In number two, we have the five Kages versus Madara, and this fight is just epic, like super, super top tier. I love the various stages of this boss battle at the start because, like, it keeps getting better and better. Like, the it starts pretty like normal, the first stage, the ground stage, and then we get to the tree stage. And the tree stage is okay, you know, like you still have to. Um, get a mother as from the trees but normally you just I think you just call the support right guy and it would be easy to take him out but then like mother does a huge cut on and burns the whole stage like that part is insane to me the stage gets 10 times better after he gets burned and also we get to, to fight mother when he's in his awakening and for you guys that uh, played mother and played against mother in storm 3 and even now you know that his awakening is super good you know the the normal mother the first like reanimation mother the awakening is super super good and it also reflected on um, the boss battle itself it got more challenging uh, as he went through his awakening and another epic part like is when mother awakens is Susanna because like um, you get another part of the boss battle another stage he awakens is Susanna he destroys like the whole stage and then like um, Tsunade and Mei need to use Gara Sen to fly up the sky and Onoki also holds eye which looks super cool and basically the stage gets reaches his uh his pinnacle really and the fight also reaches his pinnacle because like Madar Suzano is on top of the destroyed stage, they are up in the clouds and like you know that shit is about to go down after that. And the part is as I said 
really the pinnacle of the boss battle not only in terms of looks but also in terms of the gameplay because as you can see by this clip you just get to fly around and dodge Madara's attacks and actually there's a lot of uh, different attacks that Madara has and also after a little bit you get to he also uh, starts throwing like fireballs of and flamethrowers through his also fire styles and it's actually I remember this part being really difficult of course like in Storm 3 you could choose like the hero and the legend path I think it's what it was called and bro in the legend path it was super difficult like I think even this guy that I showed this gameplay the guy from the gameplay that I'm showing I think he really he died like at least once um, because his health bars goes to, it was like a pixel from red and it goes to full uh, green but yeah that part is insanely difficult and like it's also one thing that I like to to point out and to make like the fights go higher because like if you if you compare it to the to the third spot that I uh, put in like Naruto versus Sasuke Storm 4 I mean that fight was didn't have any difficulty right and I think that was what he like the, the cinematics are way better from Naruto versus Sasuke but I think like a boss battle boss battle needs to also have that uh, uh challenging part you know to make it even more intense and don't get me wrong the cinematics are also crazy but the other ones I mean probably the best like Naruto versus Sasuke Storm 4 but yeah uh, apart from that I mean um I love also the fact that we have like the five kages like the concept of the fight we have the five guys which should be one if not the strongest like one of the strongest uh ninjas of each village and also this, like fighting this god this villain god you know this legend mother also one thing that i want to point out just one thing that i like to point out about the cinematics at the end is this part where i'm going to show you where like um gara and onoki protect tsunade with like the like the gara's mom gara's like shield is his mom right and also like the the soldier like the rock soldier or something like that that rock uh dude <laughs> that onoki summons to protect uh tonight that looks super insane that is the best cinematic of the whole fight for me and basically i think yeah i did a lot of points and yeah there's a lot of things to talk about this fight and i loved it so i'm gonna put it at number two and also uh before going to the number one just tell me in the comment section down below who do you think uh, will be my pick? Who, what, which uh, boss bet I will put in number one? I would like to see if you guys could uh, figure it out before I actually show it. So yeah, just pause the video and go to the comment section down below and just type it out. Who do you think will be the my number one pick? So yeah, let's go to the number one pick. So in number one, we have Naruto vs Pain Storm 2 and let's just start by commentating on how cool the cinematics look. So yeah, the Paths of Pain start attacking Naruto, bro. And this is one of my favorite like cinematic like fighting sequences. This like just like in the anime, this looks like 10 times better than the anime. Because it all happens way more quickly than the anime. And we have the summoning jutsus going after Naruto and then boom, the toads appear. This, this is so awesome bro, like one thing that I love about Storm 2 is like these cinematics are so cool bro. And at the time this was like 2000 and 2009 right, 2010 maybe, uh, that the game came out. May maybe 2000, no 2010, nah, maybe 2011, I don't know, I'll check it after. But we have Nord, we have Inat here and in a while you're gonna see when she appears. When we have the classic Rasen Shuriken that like the the main path of pain like dodges. Is the Diva path or what? I should have done some research on the paths of pain but whatever man, that's not the most important stuff. Then Naruto gets, gets out of chakra and boom. Then, boom, this epic part where Inata just sacrifices herself and after this, yeah, the fight changes a lot because if you watch Naruto Pun, which most of you, of course you watched, uh, you know what's gonna happen next. Um, Naruto is gonna transform into the six tails as you can see 
in the gameplay of the part where the of the part of like the boss battle in itself starts getting interesting like the gameplay of the boss battles starts getting interesting because by by now we do i didn't even show you but it was just normal fighting like one-on-one -on -one, like it was free battle so yeah nothing interesting there but then when he awakens as you can see the the fight starts getting like super interesting and we start by destroying some rocks that Penny is manipulating i mean he's not manipulating a lot he's using them to defend himself and attack us but like overall it's pretty easy like at the start of this like part you are the one who gets to chase pain and like overwhelm him with power just like in the anime like he got super overwhelmed at the start by the by the immense power of the nine tails but then like after that a while later pain manipulates like 20 times more rocks and the fight gets com like consequently more difficult because by the time like he throws rocks at us in a in a way that it tracks us way better and it's actually hard for us to be hitting him as well but still i mean you still can do it right it's still like um not insanely difficult but then the pace of the fight increases a lot like in a really short span of time as you could see because i'm gonna be uh showing you a lot of gameplay because it's important like it's the first pick i need to actually get a lot of arguments right on this one uh so you guys don't roast me in the comment section down below but feel free to do it then starts using like Shibaku Tensei to fly around in like making the fight 10 times like I 10 hundred thousand times more challenged than it was as you can see by this clip then like we are forced to dodge meteorites um, which is also awesome and you just go run around run around run around and then like look at this part of the battle like this part of the battle and these graphics this it's just these visuals are insane bro that Chibaku Tensei in the big picture like it's so insane literally insane uh then of course as you already should expect we get the Minato flashback which I mean has a lot of impact in this boss but it's really good but I'm not gonna sit here and talk a lot about that flashback it's just it was just awesome you know and uh i mean yeah he gets the flashback and then bro this you know how i love star the stare downs from uh, these boss battles you already know like gar vs daedra and uh which was the other one i don't oh i think it was sasuke vs itachi you know by the way just a quick uh side note i've been recording this video through like different times different days so yeah i don't i don't even remember like certainly what i did to like number seven or eight which is kind of crazy because like you're gonna watch this like the whole through like the you're gonna watch it uh from the start to the end like it was just one scene but yeah it was a lot of scenes and probably my voice even uh sounds super different from from number to number you know but yeah, I hope it wasn't that uh, that weird for you guys to um, hear like a different pace, a different tone, or maybe you even like it. Just tell me in the comment section down below if you think that uh, when I'm recording this um, these fights, the uh, and I'm recording these type of videos which have different parts, like a top ten. Uh, if you think I should do it, like try to do all in the same day, so my voice doesn't sound like different, or you like this uh, kind of like different random style like random tone you know because i could like i i'm sure that you notice that i have more energy in some parts some uh boss battles when i'm talking about like maybe she over sazari i think that one i had a really good energy also like gara versus daedra but maybe you know there's like uh like this one i might have like a low energy but yeah uh what a what a rant that i just did but you got to see a lot of the fight and let's go after that stare down which uh happens when uh naruto uh finished talking with minato like the fight uh looks super like a simple but the thing is that it's super difficult actually that part of the fight where uh penizin is in his awakening uh it's part in this guy actually you might be able to see it he like lost like two times he actually had to retry like two times which is like insane and yeah i mean storm 2 was probably more difficult to <laughs> do this um, boss battles because like the the way you you subbed was a little bit more like random you know but yeah 
um, just tell me if you played Stone 2 if you think this fight was uh, difficult or or what because I mean I think that part was difficult but I'm sure like there were like Kakuzu vs Naruto was a little bit more difficult than this one but yeah the last wrestling isn't the most epic ending of all time I mean there's there's cool uh, the um, cinematics before the wrestling which I also uh, showed you where Pain just like does the almighty push and destroys all the all the naruto clones that were super close to him that part is awesome and then like yeah he just finishes off with a rasengan nothing special just a normal rasengan right but like overall this is my favorite boss battle uh, of all the storm series and i mean between this one and uh, like the five kages versus Madara, Naruto vs Sasuke Storm 4, and even Naruto, even Sasuke vs Itachi, I mean, they were super close, but I still want to uh, know your opinion, like, to your top 10, uh, if you remember the fights, or just tell me, like, some ones that I'm, like, obviously missing for you, just tell me in the comment section down below what you thought about this video overall, I would love to hear your guys' feedback, and I'll see you guys next time, hope you enjoyed it, man, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time, peace.